Well, boys and girls, I'm going to go ice fishing tomorrow. A buddy of mine just called, and he said, get your stuff ready and get out, get out there, and let's get at it in the morning. So I thought I'd show you here. I'm getting my stuff ready. I have to collect all my gear from last year. I got it all here, but I, I got to check it all out, make sure everything's good. So I thought I'd show you what to do before I get out of here. Well, first I thought I'd show you my gear here. I got my Markham LX9 flasher there. Now I got uh, a bunch of DeWalt drill and batteries, all my stuff for my flasher and drilling holes. And and then uh, we got our Mr. Buddy heater over here. And we this one here, we use it to keep us warm. Then we got our, our clam, nanook, shelter. This is our seats here. You just fold it up and they click and lock where you want them. And... Uh, Everybody has to have one of these right here. This uh, this thermometer in there to know how warm you are. So if you don't freeze out or something, you get frostbite. And uh, got a bag of emergency clothes here, and uh, which we hope we never have to use. I got some propane bottles in here. There's my Nils auger. I got a little light here on the front here that we use. Got uh, flyers in there, and our fishing poles are on the other side there, down in there. So, then we've got our safety gear here, jacket, and we've got our uh, ice picks here. Whenever you push these in the ice, these picks come out, sharp edges. And you can claw and get up out of the water if you happen to go through. Got a whistle here in case somebody, you need to make, let somebody know, you know, call in the birds or something. And uh, then we've got our heavy rubber boots. You can get all kinds of boots insulated. We've got the cleats on the bottom of them here that... Uh, Helps you keep traction on the ice. So, other than checking a few batteries here, I checked the Markham flash here a little bit ago. So, we gotta check all of our batteries and everything, all of our electronics, make sure everything's working. Put new propane in the heater there a minute ago. So, once we get it all ready here, I gotta go upstairs and order my license. So, we're all legal out on the ice. And, uh, we're turn that off or I won't have a battery left, will I? So, anyway, we're getting ready. We'll pull the truck down and get things loaded up here in a little bit. And we'll see you guys next out on the ice, hopefully. Or on the way, anyway. Well, folks, I got it ready. Got the boots here. Got the sled all loaded up. Got my safety coat there. I'll put it on in the morning. Got my backpack all loaded up. I got a little bit more food to put in it. So all we got to do is... I'll slide this here as ramps for the truck. We'll pull the sled up on the truck in the morning. And down the road we'll go to the lake. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, boys and girls, got everything loaded up. We're ready to roll. It's 5.52 in the morning. It's right now 16 degrees. 5.52. Supposed to meet my buddy at 6.30. So we're heading out here now. So we'll get back with you after a bit. Well, boys and girls, here we are out on the ice. We made it here. We got our sled out here on the ice. A bunch Bill's of pines. Marine. Yeah, Bill's Marine on Deep Creek Lake, West Virginia, or Maryland, this is. I should say. I'm from West Virginia. I'm getting things mixed up here. Deep Creek Lake, Maryland. Garrett County. We're out here on the ice. Getting, getting set up here. Got my clam out here. We drilled some holes with the DeWalt and the Nils drill here. And uh, I'm going to set this hut up here. Get some heat going. Get our flasher out here and see if there's Got some holes here. We're gonna see if there's any fish in them holes. And if there ain't, we drilled a bunch more out this way, you can see. So we're gonna see what we can come up with here. See if there's any fish in this lake still. So you guys hold on with us and we'll see if we can see some fish. Well, we got them down there, people. They're down there sniffing at the lure. I see them on the flasher coming up there every little bit. But we're just not getting anything here yet. If we get any action, we'll let you know here. Well, folks, we got the fish on the 
flasher here. They're there. Found some fish anyway. We got the heater going. We're gonna see what we can do here. There's fish there though. You can see them on the flasher. They're in here. We can just get some of them to bite. Yeah, I think we got another one. Something. Sure. Another perch. That a little bigger, nicer one this time. Hey, yeah, come off, but I got him out of the hole anyway, folks. There he is. Oops. I'm gonna fool around, drop him back down the hole here. So we got two of them. Try that again. Get another mealworm on. He took the mealworm. Well, we got another one, folks. And another perch here. I got him tangled up in the transducer here. He's wrapped around. Looks like. There we go. There he is. We got him now. Right there we go. Another one. Smaller one. I don't know. That did not get good. Touch anything I put down the hole. Now. Yeah, I just pulled it out of his mouth there, I think. I had one. I had to get away. Got in a hurry. Yeah, boys and girls, there's the camera down. The water's about four foot clearance or clarity. You can see my jig there going up and down in the water. I don't see any fish there. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to move out in some deeper water here in a minute. But you can see my jig there bouncing in the camera. So that's right down on the bottom there. And uh, so, so for now, I think we're going to go ahead and move. First ice fishing trip out on the ice for the year. Not doing too bad. We're catching some perch. Yeah, folks, here it is, 9.30. We've been here about an hour. I've got three on the ice, but we've missed a few. Still got fish everywhere here on the flasher. They're coming up to the bait, but just ain't taking it too aggressively. Anyway, we're going to keep fishing. See what we can come up with here. Nice day out. Sun's coming up, looks like a little bit. Getting awful bright out anyway, I'm warming up some. So we're going to keep catching here and see what we can come up with. Hope we can catch a bunch of them. Got fish there right now around the lure, but. I got something. Oh, a nice perch. Good. Nice one. No, nah, not really. There we go, boys and girls. Pretty nice one. Seven foot of water. Or seven point seven foot. Still using a little jig. The millworm. Missed two or three here lately. Trying to eat a little something here. Almost missed that one. Well, the outside today. Yeah, the sun's coming up nice and bright. Yeah, pretty well. I got a thermometer here. She says 79 in my hut. I got to turn the heat down. It's getting too hot in here now, but there's fish everywhere. Caught four or five, I think, and missed half a dozen. So, I don't know. We're going to see what we can do here the rest of the day, folks. It's getting warm in here, though. I got to turn the heat off, so 
we'll come back at you here a little bit we're gonna keep catching some fish i hope well folks it went from 17 cold as heck out to a beautiful sunny day out here sun's out bright looking nice out here we caught a few fish so far but, uh, got a lot of fish down there yet just ain't uh, catching them I don't know can't get them to bite or some people over there somewhere fishing beautiful day out here now but anyway we're gonna go back to fishing see if we can bring some more out of that hole there now we got another one boys and girls didn't get you turned on in time to see pulled out but we just got another one It was actually cooked me up some bacon. I was trying to eat it. And about the time I got a hit, so I couldn't turn on the camera and catch fish and eat my bacon too. So I'll show you afterwards. But there's another one. We'll see if we can get some more now. Yeah, I got another one. Another perch. Five or six incher. Another one there, guys. Now we'll go back down there and see if we can get another one. We might get a few of them jumbos. They're already back all over my lure again. Now we got another one there at it. I don't know. He's close. Look at the red on the flasher. Man, it's there. Take it. Oh, I missed another one. Took my worm. Oh, we got another one, folks. Small perch again. <clears throat> got another one. I think I'll put him back, though. Well, boys and girls, there's still fish there, but we're taking a little bit of a break. I cooked some bacon on my Mr. Buddy and ate some jerky and some other stuff, some trail mix. And my wife told me she had a couple of these here lunchable things in the refrigerator need to eat up. So I brought one of them. I'm working on it right now. Then we're going to go back to fishing. The buddy was with me. He went on out to try to find some deeper water. Because I've got six or seven here on the ice and I've got uh, turned five or six back, little ones, but missed a few and different things. But the sun's getting nice outside. It's really beautiful out here. Look at that sun. I mean, it's so bright out here. Beautiful out. Really pretty. It's uh, not too bad temperature actually. I think it's like 24 or 5 now. Getting real nice out. So I think we'll be in pretty good shape here after a bit. Ain't no wind today. We have to worry about blowing us down the lake and tearing up our huts or anything so I'm going to finish eating here a little bit and then we're going to get back to these two holes here and see if we can catch some fish but anyway Flasher says there's fish there and we're going to try a little while longer if not we'll maybe move out where my buddy's at see how he's doing now here's what we're using folks is a little three millimeter tungsten jig with a mealworm on it that's what we caught the last one on there there's some of them still down there showing on the flasher so we'll go back down there and see if we can catch them 
Well, boys and girls, we're catching some fish today. A little better than sometimes we've been over here. We still got fish down there. We're just not getting quite as many bites right now, but sun's a shining, beautiful day. And if you guys like these videos, you know, subscribe and share, comment, and uh, let me know what you think and uh, what you like in these videos. So, I'm trying to show you each catch here at least, and. Uh, what the weather's like and some things but I showed you what gear I had so you guys keep looking at it and keep subscribing and I need a lot of subscribers get a lot of people looking but a lot of them ain't subscribing so if you get a chance hit that button and tell them you want to subscribe so you can help my channel out and maybe we get some good content and way better than it is now and do some other things